What's up, everybody? We're here on a special night of the Feli Sports Podcast. That's the Forever I Love Atlanta Sports Podcast. Two local Atlanta guys talking Atlanta sports. It's your boy, Coach Mario, and my co-host, the Don. What's going on, Don? What's good? How y'all doing this evening? Um, we have a special night um, for you guys. We have – this is our first show that we have two athletes who pretty much represent the city of Atlanta. So yeah, yeah. I think the, um, a proud day for the um, for everybody I love Atlanta sports podcast. Um, if you're watching this show and if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button for us. Also, please share this video with uh, with other uh, fans of Atlanta sports, and also hit that like button and also hit us up in the comment section. We'll get back right with you guys when we get when you get a chance to. As always, come high. <laughs> It's your hometown sports podcast. All right. Um, my two guests, we're going to let them introduce themselves, and we'll start the show. Starting off with you, Amber. All right. How y'all doing? Um, my name is Amber Clark. I'm from North Carolina, and I'm a member of the Legends Football League, the LFL. Um, yeah. Keon? <laughs> <laughs> my name is Keon Harrison. I'm originally from Kansas City. And I am a player for the Atlanta Steam. Are you probably position. learning our positions, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know your position. What position do <laughs> y'all play? Um, I play cornerback. The cornerback. Oh, sorry. The cornerback. The, <laughs> the cornerback. The back. The cornerback. Yeah, she's the cornerback. Is there only one? No. No, there's two of us. Oh no, Amber got her <laughs> stats. Uh, like, hey, okay. <laughs> if you look at her stats, if you look at if, if you hey coach, if you look at her stats, her stats is good. So. I, hey, we did our homework, of course. I did my homework. <laughs> we looked at y'all, we looked at the stats now. We looked at the stats. So. <laughs> um and uh for our listeners, uh if you haven't figured it out yet, the Atlanta Steam is the football team, uh, our women's football team here, um, they play their home games out at the uh, Duluth Infinite Center right down uh, right down the street from my uh, real job. <laughs> um, and, and if you haven't, like I say, uh, their season is going on right now. You have guys have a game coming up in, in uh, what, a couple weeks? When is your next game? Uh, August 3rd. So about August 3rd. Yes, yeah, so about a month. And I looked at the schedule. It seems like you guys play about once a month. Yeah. Oh, That's basically, right. yeah. Yeah, there's only eight teams in the league, so we only play four regular season games. So they got to spread them out. You know, it's a, it's a game every weekend, but it's a different team playing a game every weekend. So. Oh, okay. I got you. So mm -hmm. do you guys still practice every week? Just about. We practice every other month. weekend. Practice. Yeah, we, we practice yeah. at least three weekends out of the month. Three weekends so, out of the month. So they fly y'all. So y'all got to drive back to Atlanta. And practice. Where y'all practice facility at? Yeah. <laughs> well, we practice in Atlanta. Um, we have we have some girls that live here in Atlanta. We have some girls that travel in from out of town. So, um, I mean, whenever we have practice, some girls come in and others don't. But it's 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 a it's a puzzle piece trying to get everybody. <laughs> it's a puzzle trying to they get everybody together. Here. But we eventually do. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Now, one, one question, the, the, the first question that, you know, it's, it's not even here, but bo to both of you, Keon first, why football? Uh, why not? Um, hey, I mean, I, I growing, was an answer. <laughs> <laughs> growing up being an athlete, I mean, if you played, if you played any sports in like college and in high school, like, any anybody can play any sport out there if you if you want to learn it and you have the drive and the will to then you can be good at it so okay amber my turn? what about you all right i love football mm -hmm. y'all like football might be my favorite sport in the entire world I, okay. I i never played football before i started playing for the lfl but i've okay. always watched it i dedicate my saturdays to college football um, I'm not really a fan of NFL, but I'll still watch it because I just like football, so I'll watch it. But, um, yeah, I grew up. I tried to play Pop Warner, 
Um, my dad wouldn't let me play. My mom wouldn't let me play. So I wanted to be a cheerleader. <laughs> um, <laughs> I didn't want to be no cheerleader, so I decided to play basketball instead. Um, I used to play Rack the Man. I'm not sure if y'all are aware of Rack the Man. What that is, is pretty much one against everybody. Oh, and we call it throw a tackle where I'm from. You call it what? Throw a tackle where we from. Bro. Yeah, you throw it's them called, called throw more eat them up, man. Yeah, we yeah, indicated so we called it throwing tackle. Like <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so um yeah, I did powder puff in in high school for my junior senior year and I saw Elephant and I was like, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? So why not football? Football might be the greatest sport ever created, honestly. So ever. <laughs> so what's your so you said something about college you like college football. So what's your favorite college football team? I don't have a college football team. I just literally will watch football. I wake up at nine o'clock in the morning. No, and watch college no, games. no. You will <laughs> talk somebody today. Yeah, <laughs> you I don't, must I don't, I don't have a favorite team. team though. I really don't. I swear I don't. But I will wake up at nine o'clock and I'll watch college game day and I will watch the, till the last game at ten, eleven o'clock at night. Like I'll mm-hmm. like my whole. I have a game day pasta and everything that I make mm-hmm. and I eat that throughout the day. Oh, game day pasta. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, not necessarily <laughs> possible, but yeah, by yeah, Thursday, yeah. by Thursday, I have my Saturday meal planned, and and yeah. my wife and my kids know, like, hey, man, yeah. don't bother dad on Saturday. Like, it's yeah. not happening during college football season. My dad bought oh, me a food my God. tray. He brought me a food tray that is a football food tray because he knows that my Saturdays are dedicated to football, and that's what I eat my food off of. A I food, got one football meal food tray. <laughs> I got one. You too. have one. A dollar. Yep. <laughs> y'all, some, y'all die hard. Y'all die hard over there. But so what's your, But you, but but Kay, you from Can, you from Kansas City though. And I, I, I went to college. A, I knew that was gonna come. Go ahead, Kay. Yeah, I'm from Kansas City. Chiefs mm-hmm. fan. Yeah. Die hard, yeah. But I ain't got no food plate though. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you know, and I'm and and I'm I'm familiar with Kansas City because I went to college um up in Missouri. I went to um, Lincoln University. Lincoln, I, don't know, if you I heard. know that is. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, I went to school yeah. there. See, and I I love Kansas City. I like the barbecue. Like I plan on going back up there eventually. That's I knew that was gonna say. come up. Yes, That's what they say. I don't. I I never had it though. I I I was born and raised from there. But I had maybe gates like one time, so I'm, I'm not. About, I wasn't a big barbecue eater, but they love it though. So. I'm That's about to be messy. For. I'm about to be messy. <laughs> Amber, Amber, aren't you from North Carolina? Don't y'all take pride in y'all barbecue too? Oh, I barbecue banging. Look at so. me. Uh, Look at me starting I mean, stuff. I'm pretty sure y'all barbecue. <laughs> barbecue. Everywhere you go. Like, I'm, our, our barbecue was on uh, Guy Fieri's uh, food. What was it? Uh, I can't even think what it is, but Diamond God, he, he and drives. Dr- yep, he came to Aiden, North Carolina, appreciate. and he came there yeah. and he checked out our barbecue. <laughs> so, I mean, did he come to Kansas City? I don't think. Yeah, he yeah, he did. There, there have been a couple yeah, he of. Has been. Um, he has been. Oh, I, I ain't see that episode. I didn't watch it. Too busy watching college football. It came on on Saturday. <laughs> now, uh, Keon, outside yeah. of football, what are your favorite sports? Um, I did soccer and basketball and track, um, okay. in high school. Um, but my main thing was track and field. So okay. I went to college on a track scholarship, but okay. those other two were just primers. You know, you know, when <laughs> your, your one favorite sport is, is over with, you got to find something to stay busy. So I right. just, good. <laughs> After the coaches in the school find. were going to say, Hey, it's time for you to play this now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But so, yeah, so- I was serious about track. Yeah. So how tall are you, Kay? You like you over six feet. No. Who, <laughs> me? Yes. Heck no, I'm five four. And that's that's maybe. <laughs> that's not a good thing. I'm not tall at all, short. Sure. Amber's no. taller than me. I am actually. I'm five seven. Oh, okay. Mm. I just look big. It must be the camera. I mean, you know. Yeah, the camera. Yeah. I guess the camera turned vertically. I guess made it made it a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> On my bun, one or the other. <laughs> so, so um, so y'all played sports in high school. Did y'all play any college collegiate sports? Uh, I'm in track and college. All right. What college did you go to? UNC. UNC. Okay. Chapel Hill. Yeah. All right, so you're a Tar Heel. You're a Tar Heel person. Die hard. And you didn't say that was your favorite college. Exactly. That's what I'm about to say. Like, that's because, 
Like, low key, our football team kind of trash. Yeah, they trash. <laughs> <laughs> you got <laughs> Mac Brown back, right? Mac. That's like <laughs> Mac is back, right? Though Mac is back in town. He he gonna do uh, something, right? I'm I'm good on it. I'm good. I support <laughs> him, but I'm good on it. I watch the games, but hey, hey, you have a choice now. You can be look. I know you probably won't cheer for Tech because they rivals. So hey, you can be a Bulldog fan. Your colors yeah, are red and black. Like Georgia Tech a little bit because I like their their triple option, but you know, in the minority. Yeah, I'm sorry. You know, no, got a new coach, so they won't be running the triple option this year. So exactly that that that's gone over the gone. No, they ain't running that. Oh, dang. Yeah. <laughs> and they have a new coach, Coach Collins. Uh, coach Coach uh, Johnson is gone. Yeah, oh. Johnson is long gone. Well, I like their triple option though. I liked it when they had it. All right. Now, um, how how long have uh, Keon? How long have you been playing in the league and for Atlanta? This is my same. This is my seventh year. Um, I've only been with Atlanta. Um, uh, last well, this year I was we almost went to another team, but mm. yeah, I've, it's been seven strong years with Atlanta. I know Amber's got something to say about that. <laughs> I don't know. You got to expound on that. What you got to expound? You can't. You can't tease that. Uh, um, I think it was more of a because last year was supposed to be my last year, okay. and I felt like walking walking away, not really. Um, playing in the areas that I really wanted to play in, I would have regretted it. So I was going to okay. try and go to a different spot, but I stayed home. <laughs> I knew what was good for me. <laughs> they, yeah, they, were home real real TV. they were the home time. Yeah. Real PC. Home. Look, look, just like, like Roddy, I don't know if y'all know Roddy White. Like Roddy White, you know, he could have yeah. went somewhere else and played. He could have played for New England, won a championship with him. But he stayed, like he, he said, if I ain't playing with the Falcons, I ain't playing for nobody. All right. Okay. And what about you, Amber? How long you been playing and how long you been with Atlanta? Um, this is my third year, and this is my only team. So, yeah. I started out 2016, I tried out, or 2017. Mm-hmm. What year? I don't even know. No, it's one of those years, 2016 uh, to 2017. Yeah. And, you know, we kind of touched on it, too, with y'all bring out tryout that was another another question I had uh for both Amber we'll start with you was it was it something that was it hey I, I saw it and like I'm gonna go do this or had you been planning on it or was it on a whim or you know it's, tell it's me funny more about you ask that because it was like really on a whim like I felt mm-hmm. like like I tell people this all the time like I feel like I was destined to play because every year before me the tryouts were in December and every year after me, the tryouts have been in December. But the one year I decided to try out, it was in January and I didn't see the tryouts until December. So it's like, it was meant to like, be. Yeah. Like I feel like it was destined for me to play. Honestly, like I, um, I know this guy named Terrence Copper. He used to be in the league. He played at a school around here and mm-hmm. he has a facility and I hit him up. I was like, well, is there's this league called LFL. It's a ladies tackle football league and I really want to play in it, but I don't really, I know football, but I don't know like the fundamentals or like the basics of football. So can you help? So I trained with him for about two or three weeks before tryouts. And then just me, my mom, my dad, we drove down to Atlanta and I decided to try out and I made it. So yeah, it was really just on a whim. It was just like, I saw that I saw it on Facebook and I said, I emailed the coach and I was like, well, I want to try out. Can I get some more information? I even emailed like, I, stalk some of the, the players I hit them up <laughs> ask them like what I gotta do like what do I need to learn like what's the big the best advice you can give me to you know so you went after I was, I was serious you went to get it. I was like that's I'm going in here <laughs> okay, that's what's up that's what you gotta be persistent persistent yeah. you know equal success so yeah. that's good and I wanna I wanna ask Keon the same question but Amber you said something too I wanna come back to as well okay. but Keon I'll ask you the same thing uh what, when you when you first started the tryout, was it something you've been planning for? Was it on a whim, or what led you to um, it? It was it was something I guess I could say I started planning for because um, I I think it was maybe their third year in the LFL's third year in, and they were on TV, 
So I yep. seen them on Spike TV. That was Amber mm-hmm. when Adrian Pinnell was mm-hmm. playing. And um, I saw her and I was like, sure, I can do that. I was like, I can get down. I can do that. <laughs> and the closest one to Kansas City was Atlanta. So um, I like Amber said, I saw the tryouts. I, I flew out here and I kept making it and uh, made the final roster. And I've been here ever since. But the funny thing is, is though, when I tried out, there was like, literally 350 to 400 girls that had came out that year because mm. it had been on tv and so all these girls were seeing oh, it and okay. they were wanting yeah. to come out and yeah be a part gotcha. of you know, the uh, mm-hmm. LFL and, but yeah it's it, it it's a blessing i'm glad i'm glad i did <laughs> i'm glad amber did too <laughs> <laughs> you know, I amber uh you said that when you tried out you came down with your mom and dad Mm-hmm. I wanted to ask, you know, and I, I wanted to ask you guys actually before we went live, <laughs> it was it okay to ask, uh, family support. How has your family been, you know, and do they support? Um, they're actually very supportive of it. They share my okay. my post when I post something like my highlights, they'll share it. They'll tell people to watch it. Okay. They'll post the link of the video, like the YouTube link to watch it. Um, they come down. My grandma from Florida, she came to my very first home game. My brother and my sister, we all get in the car. Me, my mom, my dad, and my brother and my sister, we all get in the car and we make a road trip down there okay. to go to the game. My friends from back home, I have about four or five people who've been to every home game that like I've been playing. So they've been to five home games. Um, like cool. my grandma, she's flying out. She's never been on a plane. She's going to fly out for my next home game to come to the game. Um, so okay. yeah, my pe- my family, my friends, they're like super supportive. They make t-shirts, they get posters, like they're they're all in. Cause like if they if it's something I want to do, I'm the baby. So they all oh, whatever. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so they go so, yeah, they, go, they go support you. That that's good exactly. though. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, so yeah, they're so, very supportive. So do the family do the family do they, do they give do, are they all allowed to give them free tickets to games and stuff? Yeah, we get uh two free tickets a game. Okay, that's good. Yeah. That's good because you know I'm thinking like airfare. Cause you stay in North Carolina, that ain't that far. But I know Key, you stay all the way in Kansas City. That's I know that's a good that's driving. That's half a day. Yeah, <laughs> that's like a two hour flight. Yeah, the well the flights aren't that cheap either. I don't know why they're so high coming to Atlanta, but they are. <laughs> it's not that far away, yeah, but. But yeah, so, like, I'm thinking like airfare then, you know, I'm pretty sure I don't know about hotel stuff, but all that stuff adds up. So, yeah. you know, if they giving them a free ticket to the game, you know, at least that that'll relieve some of the cost. So that's mm-hmm. that's great. So yeah. What is the hmm, what's correct? Way to pose it. What is the biggest difference between watching football on TV and actually playing it? What is the biggest thing that that you learned or you experienced? Like, you know, um, the game is super fast. Like, it seems like when you're watching on TV, they have all the time in the world. You're yelling <laughs> at them, like, "Well, what did you see that person? Like, what are you doing? Like, how anybody can see that?" But when you're actually in the game, it's like there's a lot of things you don't see until mm-hmm. you watch film. Like, I know I've watched film a couple of times, and I'm like, "Dang!" Like, if I would have seen this a second sooner, or if I would have, you know, kind of read this a second faster. A lot, of, like it could have been a big difference from like a five yard, from a five yard gain to a two yard gain, or even a turnover. Like, it's, yeah. if you're, like I said, you can see everything when you're watching because you can see the whole entire field. But when you're on that field, you can only see but so much. So, mm-hmm. it's it's a huge, huge difference. Yeah. Awesome answer. Awesome answer. Yeah, I totally agree with that. It's it's different. That's all I got. It's different. No. I mean, it's, it's, I'm like, I was like, that's all I got. I mean, it's definitely <laughs> different from, from watching it. And I know just from it, I'm sure Amber can agree. Um, well, before I started playing, I didn't really understand football that much. But it's like now I can watch it and I can watch film and I can understand, okay, you know, certain things a little bit better. So it's definitely up in my game for sure. But Okay. Where'd you go? Oh, Amber. I'm here. <laughs> okay. Do you guys have a game day ritual? Oh, 
own like individual or like team? Yeah. Both. Oh, oh, I meant individual, but but both. Yourself, yeah, but and then, yeah, I meant I'm as at foot with the team. Yeah. I was thinking individual, but yeah, you know, it's a good question for both. Honestly, with team, I don't think we really have. Do we have? We don't really have a team we, virtual. Do we, we have like a team dinner before yeah. the night before. Yeah. Um, okay. You know, everybody gets together and has dinner, but not really. Mm-hmm. Not on like game day. Physical. Yeah. Yeah, game day. We yeah. No. Um, everybody kind of has their own yeah. way. I was about to say, everybody crimes their own way. They all, like, are off doing their own thing. Like, we come together in the locker room, but sometimes, like, when it gets close to the game time, I feel like everybody goes off kind of okay. in their own little zone. Um, I know yeah. for me, um, I have three I have three songs that I listen to. I won't say the names of them because some of them aren't, <laughs> like, they don't have, like, good titles. But, um... What you mean? I, I, I think you gotta be 18 and up to watch our show. Yeah, I don't really... <laughs> There's like three or four songs that I like listen to like right before I'm about to go out there. Like I'll I'll listen to it like my songs throughout the day, but it's those four it's four main songs that I listen to right before. Gotcha. Um this song's kind of cocky. No, nah, it ain't Pete Pablo. Oh, it's kind of cocky. <laughs> but uh, I like to, I like to watch my highlights. I like to watch my highlights before the game because yeah, it gets me okay. hyped. Like I know it sounds super cocky, right? It sounds super cocky. But I don't know. It just it makes me. It gives me that energy. Like I want to. Yeah, it's like I want to do this. Like I I can't wait to to do this again. Like it gives me something, you know, to visualize. Like I did this one time. It's nothing to do it, you know, another time. Pretty much. So that's why, you know. Yeah, I like that. I do the same thing. Thank you. Amber's the rapper. Okay. (laughs) Amber's the rapper in the locker room. (laughs) So yeah. yeah, your, your, Your songs are a secret as well. <laughs> My you, sure, look, look, you can't, yes. you know, as, I, as an athlete, you can't give away your mojo because you, yeah, you know right. Mojo. I want to oh, to my I, songs. Like, they're well, my I, songs. I mean, I don't play anything anymore, but when I get in the garage and work out, I got certain songs that you know, but they still playing though. We ain't athletes no more, they are. They still <laughs> So you tell me I'm washed up, okay? <laughs> I'm tired. I can't go in. Get my songs away. Nobody <laughs> listening to my songs no more. Okay. We can shout out. We can shout out secrets because we old heads, but you know they still, you know, yeah, they're still in the game. Okay. So you guys are two and one on the season, correct? Two and one, yes. Where are you gonna end up at? What? How many games got left? Six and one. No, Three. five and one. Yeah, five and one. And uh, you guys go to a championship. How the playoffs work? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we want how y'all playoff system work. That's what we want to know. Hey, we did our homework. You gotta tell the people who are gonna be watching. We know you gotta tell people. <laughs> that's why we're trying to set y'all up. You gotta, that's what I was asking for, so everybody can know. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, they changed it. Um, so it used to be a uh, Eastern conference championship and a western conference championship so the top two teams on the east and top two teams on the west they'll play each other and then they come together the top west team and top east team come together and they play in the legends cup that's what we call our super bowl Mm -hmm. and um so this year they're doing it the top four teams in the whole entire league so uh they're going by record by point differential like everything like that so it's different they just changed it this year so i'm excited because should have changed it last year like that. We would have been in the play, you know, we've been in playoffs. But the fact that we lost to we only played one Eastern Conference team the whole season, but we lost to them. We still didn't get a chance to go, even though there was a one and three team. They got a chance to go to the playoffs and we were two and two. We didn't get a chance to go. So I'm glad they finally changed. Yeah, they you gotta know? balance yeah. that up. The top yeah, four and yeah. back. Yeah, and it should be right. that way. It shouldn't be the other way around. So Yeah, especially when we don't even play like, you know. Most of the team, right? And there's only yeah, we don't even really play the teams in our conference that much, so I feel like it's not fair. But like I said, I'm glad it changed it. You can't do anything about the past. All you gotta do is thinking about you know this year and you know getting to it this year. So, so there are eight teams, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Why is it a problem? Can they just add more games to the season? I feel like they add add more games to the season. Everybody everybody in the division plays. Play, uh-huh. 
Uh-huh. I'm <laughs> thinking, do you, I'm do thinking you think that. they can, though, Keon? Because, like, there literally is a game, like, every weekend. So, yeah. I think it would be hard. I think I think it would be hard to add more games. Honestly, I don't even know if I would – the way that we play and what we play, I don't even know if our bodies could take right. four or five more games, you know. But, well, no. Um, if you play – how many games y'all play a season? Four. If y'all just you, you're add guaranteed games. four games. You're guaranteed four games. Okay. okay. Just play six like if y'all I'm thinking like if if six or seven games, I think six games a season sounds reasonable. You play all you play your whole division or your whole conference, right? Mm-hmm. And then you play three you play three more games in uh in the other um, conference. You know, and then still still do playoffs with it or like you still, do, you still do play oh yeah, you still do your playoffs. So six regular <laughs> season and then the other ones are playoff games. Yes. There was one year we had six. I, there was the, didn't we have six games? Weren't you playing with us when we had six games? Down, well, that's because down. we made it to oh, the. That's because we made it to the end. <laughs> oh, yeah, <laughs> you're right. Yeah, yeah. You're so right. we had four regular season, and then we had yeah. the two, the two extra games for winning the uh, conference, and then going to the Legends Cup. So yeah, we had six. Yeah, you're right. I don't know that that could work. I but know. I know when we had them three games in August, my body was screaming. Uh, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it would be a difference because of the mm-hmm. fact that I think the only reason it be a difference for us compared to, like, guys being able to play every weekend is that we don't practice every day. Those guys practice every day. We practice mm-hmm. two or three weekends out the month. So it's a big okay. difference, I feel like. That's the reason why I don't think our bodies could withstand. We would have yeah. to practice more in order to, you know – play more games. So, so y'all don't yeah. do your own training at y'all on your own time. Like I'm pretty sure y'all go to the gym, you know, yeah. almost every day or something like that, you know. <laughs> Everybody looking like I don't need to do that. I'm just genetically like um, you no. Know. Nah. <laughs> I'm just nah, kind of like number one like, just naturally. Yeah. But nah, nah, genetically I, privileged. I try to. I really don't like to work out at a gym because I don't really know gym workouts to be honest. Like I do workouts at night before I go to bed like I do nighttime abs everybody know about my nighttime abs on the team Mm -hmm. I tell them you know it's what I do before I go to sleep (laughs) I do that I may do squats I may do push-ups I don't really do too much like gym workout but I'll go to like a field and do I can do field workouts all day but when it comes to the gym like I don't really know because I be I work 12 hour shifts so I'm not really trying to do that when I get off work you know what I'm saying I'm just trying to be chill (laughs) (laughs) I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think most of us get like our gym time in probably the off season is when we're real heavy with it. But then once we get in season, it's like trying to balance working out and work and right. some people's school. So it's kind of like it's hard to try and fit it in, you know, that schedule. But, yeah. Do, do you guys watch the um, other games, the, the other teams? Yeah. You Honestly, I, I don't know about Amber, but I haven't sat and watched – unless it's a team that we're preparing for, I haven't sat and watched any other game that, okay. that, that's been played. Because it's like it's not – we're not focused on that. Well, I'm not focused on that, yeah. you know. I guess. So we, we see who wins, you yeah. know, and who loses <laughs> when we look at the score. But other than that, should be focus on getting this cup. You know, right? We focus on what we gotta do. Right. I don't care about teams that we don't gotta play. Like, yeah. <laughs> now, right. <laughs> I have to let you know as well. Uh, we normally record our shows on Sunday. We having to pre-record this show and release it for because we're gonna be doing some travel. Uh, you guys would have gotten a ton of questions in our chat. You're still going to get a ton of questions when we release this. So uh, I got people in the Facebook group that's, um, you know, wondering what I'm doing. And I told them I'm talking to the um, Atlanta Steam, you know, the uh, LFL. And I, oh, oh, put us on, man. Put us on. Put us on. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> now, 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 y'all got y'all to gotta wait to like everybody else to see the uh, see the show. I said it, it'll, it'll drop next week. So I'm not going forward those tweets, but the real football tweets. I'm going to forward you guys and look for uh, to get a lot of questions from us in the next couple of weeks because okay. you're going to get flooded. Because <laughs> a lot of, a lot of, and also a lot of people didn't even know, you know, we had an uh, LFL team in the city. You oh, know? That's, the, that's the thing. A lot of people don't know about it. A lot of people don't know about the LFL. Like, they're like, what's that? I think I'm going to be there August 3rd. 
I think I'm trying to come okay. August third. Yeah, I'm. 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 I'm gonna try. I'm, you better be there. I'm a. I'm gonna promise you that I'm going to make it to a game. I'm gonna try to do the August third, but I will promise you I will make it to a game. Okay. I I think the tickets ain't that much. The tickets ain't that much though. I look. No, they're twenty. Twenty to sixty-five. I tell you, I did my homework. Yeah. <laughs> we both did. We, we both did. We'll just come on here. We had some stuff. Yeah. Twenty to sixty-five. Yeah. But I ain't I think- no we're gonna send the sixty five dollars seats. That's just how I do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. Right behind the uh, bench, though, I think. Yeah, for the thirsty dudes, huh? I see. The thirsty real dudes. Thirsty. Look at for real? I was yeah. joking. For real? I was joking. Like, like I, I literally saw uh, one old, some old dude looking at one of my teammates, but through the uh, through the glass, like just a glass. <laughs> No, so he was like, he was like fake grabbing. And he was like this, like behind the, gla- the grass. Oh, I'm like, <laughs> so no, I won't sit in there. I'm glad you told me. Okay, so I'm not gonna sit in the thirsty dude seat. So yeah, glad you told me. <laughs> and people stand up too, so you want to get in a good spot to where you can see. Yeah. I know sometimes when you're down that low, you can't really see anything. Yeah, because we standing up the whole time. Well, mm-hmm. I'm that person <laughs> that people hate me at a football game because I'm not gonna sit down. So, you know, so. <laughs> and me, I'm I'm the scouter. Like I'm the scouter. I don't like to sit so far, so close to the field. I like to sit way up top yeah. so I can see everything and what y'all, what plays y'all about to run. I like to see everything. So yeah, like Very if I go to if I go to a college or a professional game, the only time I probably sit down is like during like the TV timeouts. But during yeah. the game, yeah, I'm not. Sitting down, so lady, you're gonna be mad behind me. <laughs> I, uh, I remember one time I went to a Falcons game and I had some um, some good seats at one point in time, and like I traded them for a person that was sitting, you know, in the 300 level. I said, "Hey, I trade you these seats," and he thought that I was like my tickets was fake. I said, "No, this is serious. This is real seats. I just want to sit up top so I can see everything." My co-host used to do heavy drugs, y'all. He used to do heavy <laughs> drugs. So that look, man, I ain't never took. Look, I ain't never had any drugs or any alcohol day in my life. Like I'm, I'm one of those real athletes who try to take okay. it. By. Well, I tried enough for him, so Thanks, I guess. Don, <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you uh, did you get any other questions for him? Yeah. So um. And um, I think he pretty much, uh, she brought up a great point that a lot of people didn't know because they play in Duluth, okay? They play at the um, old arena that Georgia Force used to play at. I don't know if y'all remember the old arena football league. We've heard about it, but we weren't. I, I think they were already gone before we actually started playing in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. Well, say the yeah. place that Beyonce performed at that time in Gwinnett. They remember it. Okay, the place Beyonce um, <laughs> um, I, I don't, I don't know. I look, I'm only, I don't know about sports anyway. So, but yeah, it's in that spot in Gwinnett, and like, it's not a tough place to get to. But if you're in the city, that's a good what thirty minute drive. And if you're trying to go to a game in the evening on a weekday, that can be like an hour and thirty minute drive. But it's awesome restaurants in the area. Like I say, my job is around the corner. It's awesome yeah. restaurants there. You have uh, over there. Meals is right there. You yeah. have uh, the, people go to Ten Lizzie's and stuff. The new Papa Do's is there. I just was there a couple weeks ago. Papa Do's is my favorite restaurant. Um, you got some great food. Yeah, they, hey, let us get a sponsor. We're plugging one. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so it, you should come and make make a day of it. You know, because you can go and it's it's plenty of attractions right there. You got medieval times right there and all that. I mean, yeah. And Mall of Georgia ain't, ain't it's only right up the street from Mall of Georgia too. Look so. at y'all promoting our game for us, trying to get some people to come. Early. Look at y'all, make a day out of it. You're right, make a day out of it. Hey, hey, we are the forever. <laughs> I love Atlanta sports. We the hometown. <laughs> look, we the hometown sports podcast. <laughs> That's what we do. Hometown Sports Podcast. We look, we we promote and we advocate every Atlanta or Georgia based team. That's our motto. See, we pre recorded this show. Normally, what we would do in the first 10 minutes or five minutes of the show is we run down everything that our local teams have done in the past few days. We didn't do it on this one because we pre recorded. So, yeah, we, that's what we do. Yeah. Because uh, sports talk and podcasts in this city is filled with people who not from this city. So we wanted the people who are from here to give a hometown take. That's our angle. 
That's all Stay I away know. from 929 the game on the radio. Stay away from them. Uh, <laughs> negative. Oh, right. like Just them. negative stuff. Just oh. negative. Yeah. And oh. go ahead. Yeah. No, go ahead. I was I was about to say something anyway. I'm glad I I'm glad you stopped me. <laughs> y'all about to play y'all last game on um uh, once again they, the next game is August third. August third in Duluth at the uh, Infinite Energy Arena in Duluth. Mm-hmm. All right, so y'all ain't got nothing to do that day. Go ahead. I believe that's around at the same time the Falcons got training camp. All right. Yep, that's probably the youth weekend. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So y'all can make a weekend out of that. Right. Yep. Make a weekend out of it. Uh, Atlanta Falcons fan, uh, Atlanta Falcons players come to our game too. Y'all need to support women's football. We play yeah. football. We got the same <laughs> positions. We got the same, we got plays just like y'all got plays. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on now. Hey, Tat hey, hey, McKinley. Hey, Tat McKinley. He looking for a new girlfriend. So hey, um, who, wanna... what he look like? <laughs> I mean, you know, I love I'm my boy Tech, but he did have mental health issues, so I can't oh, no, promote no. that on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, just make sure you're here first. Make sure you're here. I appreciate you throwing that out there. You know, like, but we always say, we always say though, like our whole team is: if you've never been to a live LFO game, a women's arena game, you gotta come at least once. So it's like. It's worth the drive, and if you don't like it, then you don't like it. But nine times out of ten, you're gonna love it, right? So, and this is it. Fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes a quarter. Ten. Ten minutes a quarter. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, uh, once again, you have to tell them um, what number you are, what position you play, you guys. All right. Go ahead, Kian. Um. Once again, name is Kian Harrison. Um, number 11, and I play middle linebacker and tight end. And I'm Amber Clark. I'm number 10, and I play cornerback. So look for me. The cornerback is Kian, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One more question we got for y'all. Y'all, like, once again, y'all game, y'all next game is on August 3rd, and that's y'all last um, game of the season. Right. So y'all win this game, y'all for sure in the playoffs. Yeah. Y'all really think y'all gonna win this cup? Y'all go, y'all gonna bring another championship um home to the city? Why not? I'm definitely going. So if we <laughs> win in the playoffs, I'm definitely going. I'm there. It's in Seattle. Look. Make a trip out of it. Hold on, the playoffs or the August third game? Oh, the August third game. I thought you meant the playoffs. Oh, I'm, I'm like, hold on. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> August third, y'all win, y'all in, right? So I'm definitely yeah. coming to support y'all in. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be there. Yes. So. Y'all win, we go have to. I'm gonna have to talk to Keisha Lance Bottoms, the mayor of Atlanta. We are gonna have a parade for y'all. We are gonna try to make yeah. that happen. Make it happen. To. I will be. We gonna try to make it happen. Yes. We got That's to. It. For real, love, we got I to. Love that. I'm down with that too. Yeah, for sure. I I would definitely I would definitely miss work to to um to be at the parade. Me too. Definitely. <laughs> Me too. It looks like we better win this. Win this, thing. right? Yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Oh yes. We need look. Atlanta United. I don't know if y'all know the soccer team that we have. They just yeah. won the championship um several months ago. So hey, we need to keep on racking them up. You yeah. know, Braves in first, yeah. first place right now. Braves in first place. Yep. Uh, Hawks just drafted uh, some great talent in the uh, in the yeah. draft. So I can, you know, we, we if we can stay healthy, hey, we got a shot too. So hey, our lacrosse team is good. People don't know our lacrosse team is good. Atlanta has a lacrosse team, and they're good. Then you know, then you know it was a lacrosse team. <laughs> <laughs> you said they're not good. I said I didn't even know it was one. Yeah, see, see, see. I hey. think they play in the same stadium y'all play in, in arena, same arena y'all play. In. That's why y'all have to subscribe to uh, the Feline Sports Podcast so we can educate y'all on this stuff, man. On Atlanta sports, yeah, we sports did. Going on Atlanta. A lot of sports going on in Atlanta. Yeah. Look, this is what y'all need to do. All right, we, we plugged y'all. I think we did a good job plugging y'all. So y'all teammates, y'all go ahead and let them know about the Forever I Love Atlanta Sports Podcast and have them subscribe to our channel. We'll do that. So that way y'all 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 know everything that's going on in the city. We do a show every week, at least once. We do a show at least once a week. Now, sometimes we might do more than, more than one a week. It all depends on what's going on in the city. Mm-hmm. But yeah, but like if y'all subscribe, y'all y'all will get everything y'all need to know. And then not only that, 
Y'all also are um, following us on our social media site. So we pretty much try to stay with, um, you know, tweet live through the games and, um, and getting results from Braves games, Hawks games, Falcon games, even like trades, all that stuff. So yeah, gonna tweet live throughout our game if y'all come. Oh, oh yeah, most certainly. We got you. Most <laughs> certainly. We got right. you. And, and Amber, you a football fan, so we tweet about football in our in our you know follow us on Twitter. We're tweeting about football and you know different different stuff. Anytime, that. yeah. Anytime we go to a game, it doesn't matter if it's a United game because I've been to a United game and a Braves game. Um, a few weeks ago, I was like, um, you know, doing the periscope. I was like showing video, live video of the game, like live tw- uh, tweeting, all of that. So when we go to games, even like training camps and stuff like that, oh, we live. And I go to a ton of Georgia Tech and UGA football games, so definitely I'll be live on some Saturdays. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm right. following y'all, I think. Yeah, I, I think I followed y'all. <laughs> Yeah, so, I gotta follow y'all to get y'all messages. Yeah, I followed y'all. Yeah, you did. You followed us. Thank both sure, of you. Yeah, make, yeah, make sure y'all make sure y'all subscribe to the channel though, to the YouTube channel. Yeah, I'm putting it in the group chat. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Okay. Thank you guys again for coming on and uh, uh, your busy twelve hour schedules and and <laughs> your workout schedules and coming on with us. We uh, certainly appreciate it supporting us, and we're definitely going to support you. I appreciate it. Yes, no thank you. Thank you for no. having us, fine. No problem. And I'm I hope you did a good job. I hope the show turned out good. Cause this was an awesome show. Yeah, this was an awesome, this was an awesome show. <laughs> I think this is like one of our – I think we, we, we had, a, we had a, uh, our first show that we did, and we just we – knew. We only been doing this for like for several months now. Our first episode was with Craig Sager's uh, son, Craig Sager II, and that was our first episode. I really that, that was our best episode, all right. And I think y'all pretty much neck and neck with Craig Sager. Just, just, just wait till just wait. We start <laughs> taking y'all in the tweets. Just wait. <laughs> Twitter gonna blow up. I'm telling you, just wait. Yes. All right, bet. So, if y'all like what y'all saw, please hit us up in the comment section. Also, please share this video with other Atlanta sports fans. And also, please hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. As always, come holla at your hometown sports podcast. And on that note, we'll see y'all later. Thank y'all for joining us. Thank you for having us. All right. Thank you. All right. All right. Bye.